Hi GTV, it's Allie. Today I'm here with Michaela from Eaton. She's a sales specialist. Michaela, I see you brought some demos. Yes, I did. So today I brought the Plug-On Neutral Load Center. It's our redesigned load center that came out um, last year and late last year. And um, this is the BR version and this is the CH version. Okay. So our BR line, um, Eaton's gone through many acquisitions over the years. Um, so BR came from the Westinghouse acquisition. Um, they acquired Bryant and that's where the BR name comes from. This has aluminum bus, um, a 10 year warranty and these um, black handle breakers. And then we have the CH, which came from the Cutler Hammer acquisition, and it has copper bus, a lifetime warranty, and trip flags on the breakers, as well as tan handles. So what I brought today is the plug-on neutral, and what's different about this load center versus our previous load center um, are the plug-on breakers. So this is for residential applications. And um, so everyone has one in their home, condo, apartment, whatever the case. So this is your regular thermomagnetic breaker. Um, but in addition to that, we have what we call electronic breakers. So these could be uh, ground faults, arc faults, or dual purpose, which are a combination of the two. Um, so when a contractor has to install an electronic breaker, it always has this pigtail neutral wire, um, which they terminate in the neutral bars. Now we've redesigned our load center to accommodate plug-on neutral breakers. And so we've replaced the pigtail neutral wire with a clip that clips directly onto the neutral bar itself. So for the BR version, um, this skinny bar right here is the neutral bar that your breakers will clip onto. So these are all short body breakers and we call the installation rock and lock because you rock the breaker under the black tabs here and you lock it down. Um, so then you would just have to terminate your hot wire in the breaker itself. Um, before, you had this pigtail neutral wire where you would rock it on and then you'd have to terminate each wire in the neutral bar. Um, so by having the plug-on neutral breakers, you eliminate half of your wires and the finished install looks a lot cleaner. So your saving time and um, your finished install looks more professional. Um, so with the CH version, same concept, now the breakers plug on. So before, you had pigtail neutral wires coming out of the breakers, um, which contractors would have to terminate, and now we've replaced that with a clip. So these um, CH plug-on neutral breakers are longer, um, and that's because the CH line has slimmer breakers. So because they're slimmer width-wise, um, the components in the circuit board of the electronic breakers are next to each other versus in BR, they're side by side. So that's why we were able to accommodate short body breakers in the BR, um, but CH is long body. So with this version, you're installing the breaker directly over the neutral bar and then pushing it down. So again, um, no wires, you would just terminate your hot wire into the breaker itself. So in addition to changing the design of the breakers to give it an easier install with less wiring, um, we've made a lot of additional changes based on contractor feedback. So I'll go through those changes. Um, there are several of them. So um, the first one is that we've standardized on a number two Robertson square um, for the tool that you would use for the neutral screws, the breaker screws, the bonding screw, which is now here for service entrance applications, um, and the cover screws. So before, contractors had to change tools as they were working inside the load center, um, and now they can use one tool for the entire um, installation. Um, the neutral bars are now inboard, and so that makes it easier to terminate your wires. So they're inboard here and inboard here before they were outboard on the sides. Um, for BR, the screws come backed out. So you don't have to worry about backing your screw out, landing your wire, and then backing it in. Now you can just terminate your wire and screw it down. Um, for CH, the screws come back in because you're plugging those breakers on over the screws. Um, on the sides, we have added, let me turn it completely. We have added drywall offsets, pre-marked at half of an inch and 5 eighths of an inch. So this is very convenient for new installations where you're lining the load center up between the drywall studs 
instead of having to mark that out yourself, um, it's there for you so you can just pop out those tabs and it will help you stop it at the right depth. Cool. From the side. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, these two lugs now match this lug size, so again, just less tools that you have to switch between um, sizing wise. There are also several improvements to the cover itself. So now you can hang the cover. Um, so instead of having to hold the cover up with your shoulder while you're screwing down, now you can hang this like you would hang a picture. So we can kind of demonstrate that. Yeah. So you line it up there, then you can hang it, um, and then when you're ready, you can screw in down here. So it also has these on the bottom, so in case you're doing a bottom fed load center, you can also use the hanging cover feature. Inside, um, we've replaced the circuit numbering stickers with embossed circuit numbering. It will still come with the stickers if that's your preference, but now it's engraved just to save you a step. Um, and if you'll notice, each number has A, B um, because they took away the part of the code that restricts tandem breakers. So now you can install tandems in every circuit of the load center. So our load centers are automatically rated for double the amount of space that they have. So this one's a 30 space but it's rated for 60 circuits. Um, if you're installing a generator interlock kits, many residential contractors are installing generators in the homes. Our load center cover now automatically comes with the indents for that kit that would go around the main breaker and the generator breaker just as a safety feature so you're never able to turn both breakers on at the same time. And then we also are receiving feedback that this middle piece was a little weak and after you were done um, knocking out these, um, the cover wouldn't line up flush and it would be warped a bit. So this has been ribbed just to have a sturdier design and hold its place. So all of this feedback came from contractors, um, many in West Michigan and all over the Midwest. We manufacture our load centers in Lincoln, Illinois. So we hosted several voice of customer days so that um, the changes that you guys wanted to see in this load center were all incorporated and there is no additional cost to this new design load center. Whatever contractors were paying previously, that's what they are paying for this new um, load center. So are the old Eaton breakers compatible with these new ones? Yes, they are. So as you can see here, the pigtail neutral breakers do fit inside of the plug on neutral load center, um, and they're also the same cost. So if you prefer, or if you have stock of the pigtail neutral breakers, these can go in and same with the CH, um, these fit in the new load center. Um, but you won't get the same experience as if you're using the plug-on neutral breakers, which save you time and um, give you a cleaner installation. Michaela, what is the importance of the electronic breaker? So um, the electronic breakers are determined by um, whatever code each state has adopted. So in Michigan here, we're kind of an oddball because we're under 2017 NEC code, um, but the Mich Michigan Residential Code takes precedence over that, and we are not enforcing arc fault breakers in single and dual family homes. But multi-tenant applications like um, hotels, dormitories, um, uh, condo complexes, senior living, you would need um, arc fault breakers. So um, different states are under codes where almost every room in your home needs an electronic arc fault breaker. So that's why Eaton's move towards a plug-on neutral load center is to accommodate the increasing amount of electronic breakers that every load center needs. Um, because as the NEC code um, adopts, it gets more advanced. They're always adding arc fault breakers for safety reasons um, to prevent fires. They're never taking them away. So we're moving towards needing more and more electronic breakers in your load center. So if you're installing an electronic breaker for almost every circuit in here, that's many wires you have to install, that's time, um, and, it, and it's a lot of wires to have um, looking clean as your finished install. Um, so by switching to the plug-on neutral breakers, it's helping to accommodate a faster, easier installation. Michaela, what's the difference between these two models, the biggest differences? So with the BR, um, it is our more cost conservative um, line, and that's because it uses aluminum bus and has the limited 10-year warranty. Um, we sell more BR nationally. Um, it's a common load center used in um, project applications. And then our CH is our premium line, so this is, um, it has copper bus, 
and it has a lifetime warranty. And this is used in applications for more um, custom homes or single family homes um, where they're willing to pay more for an upgraded load center. What kind of safety features do these have? So, um, great question. So, safety is the reason that we have ground fault and um, arc fault breakers. So, ground fault is to protect you anywhere where there's water. So, um, the breaker has a circuit board inside of it that's sensing um, the amperage that it's sending out and the amperage that it's receiving. So, if there's um, water downstream and there's a leakage of current, your breaker will sense that it's not receiving as much on the return and it will um, open the circuit and trip the breaker. So that's preventing um, a child or a person from touching the water and being the, the current to ground. So um, ground faults are for water and then the arc faults are for preventing fires. So if there's an arc anywhere, um, a break in the wire where um, electricity can jump between the two, mixed with the insul insulation that could cause a, a house fire. So the breakers are looking for um, arcs downstream and if it senses one, that again will open the circuit and trip the breaker. So um, as the code gets more advanced, it's always looking for more ways to be um, safer and protect more people and save more lives. And that's the reason that arc fault breakers keep going up um, as far as the number of rooms that require arc fault protection. Um, and that's why we designed the load center to accommodate those breakers and make it a, an easier installation for the contractor. Michaela, I noticed that these two, their labels are different colors. Is there significance to that? Yes. So um, I didn't bring a true uh, ground fault breaker, which has the white label, but a white label is a ground fault breaker. Green is the combination arc fault, and the combination is parallel arcs and series arcs. It's looking at both. Um, and then the blue is our um, newest breaker, and it has the most protection. So that has combination arc fault and ground fault in one. Um, so every electronic breaker has thermal magnetic protection as its base, um, which is short circuit and overload protection. This one combines everything. Um, so it also has this LED um, blink code diagnostic right here. So if the breaker does trip, um, you can press the test button and it will blink a certain number of times, which correlates with what trip that breaker. So say it blinks four times. Um, you have a legend that comes with every breaker that you would put on, uh, inside of the cover and it would tell you four blinks is equivalent to a parallel arc. So then the contractor can um, go downstream and figure out where that arc is. If it blinked six times, that's a ground fault. Um, so that really helps with diagnostics just to save time. Um, because the breaker is looking at so many different things that could have tripped it, it's hard to know where to start. Um, so by having this um, easy to understand indicator, it tells you exactly what tripped the breaker and what needs to be assessed. So you can now find these Eaton load centers and breakers at galco.com. Michaela, thanks for coming in and teaching me a little bit more about these. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome.